April 2019, Amazon has completed their mission to take over the world. Every day, every minute, all human activity is packaged and delivered to the corporation for evaluation. Those of us not up to scratch are processed as defective and sent to the blimp for disassembly. You cannot escape this corporatocracy. It's a panopticon. You must profit. Living is the survival of the fittest product. Okay, I'm getting fucking carried away. This video is an April Fool's Day prank, I think, but it feels very real. Japan is like, we're not pranking anyone. We've actually built a robot that can play basketball. Let's see how it goes. From downtown, three points, no wackers. Basketballers aren't ready for automation to replace them. Look at the wanker, such a smug expression. This Sheila is preparing for a dystopian future. She almost goes to destination fucked though. She recovers with a hair flick that says, I meant to do that, nah, I meant to do it. Speaking of hair, here's one of the nice mullets I've seen in modern times. Nice is too weak of a word. It's exquisite. It's majestic. It's dapper as fuck. Imagine the confidence that comes with it. You could run through a brick wall. What a bloody legend. Here's a black hole that's 50 million light years away. Before this photo, this was the best one we had. So it's a massive improvement. So the white forerunner, and then do you have an idea on what kind of mileage you're trying to stay around? Sometimes I miss being in a real workplace where stupid shit happens. 10 points to the bloke who's filming and doing his job. Under 100, okay good. Um, let me shoot you over this text message right now. Yep, he's going to the pub, understandable. Once the desk breaks, productivity is fucked. The news on the YouTube is that PewDiePie wants the subscribe to PewDiePie meme to end. He's like, it's been hijacked by dickheads. And once something that was fun gets hijacked by dickheads, it's pretty much game over. In all seriousness, I can't imagine how stressful it is entertaining and maintaining a healthy connection with almost 100 million subscribers. It's all fucking chaos. In global news, Notre Dame got shit mixed. RIP to the victims of the Sri Lankan bombings. I feel terrible for the country. And I also don't want to waste my energy on giving more terrorists more exposure. Seven blokes finally said, fuck it, let's just go into the Ecuadorian embassy and carry Julian Assange out. It's good he's getting a little sunshine. Vitamin D can be underrated, I find. Have you ever dreamt of stealing an ATM? All you need is heavy industrial equipment, masks and warm clothing, and a van with a hole cut in the roof so you can transfer the payload. What if there's only 20 bucks left in it? I reckon this business model is at risk of running at a loss, to be honest. Anyway, throughout April I found myself thinking about doing good things for our planet. Even if a big fucking fish eats the good things, Things. At least we know we tried. Oi, I think this will tickle your pickle, folks. I did a voiceover job for Bethesda's game Rage 2. It comes out in May. My voice might be released at the same time or a later date. The link to the trailer is in the post description below, so go have a bloody gander. Walker's on fucking fire! Oh, majestic as fuck! Oh, super punch! Holy guacamole, how did you do that? Crikey, this is fun to watch in the safety of the commentary booth. 